right, now I want to go back through these electronic and molecular geometries showing you the two-dimensional representation of these molecules. So, remember this molecule has a triple bond and a single bond about around this central atom. So this is two regions linear. This atom, two regions linear. So the overall molecule is linear. It forms a line, linear. This is, represents carbon dioxide. It's got a double bond and then another double bond. So there's two electron densities getting as far away as possible, 180 degrees. It's linear. It's a line. Three electron densities. It's called trigonal planar. planar. And here is our representation. So this, this works pretty well. You can see that it's on the same plane of the, board, of the paper. So when you remove one elect one bond and put in just a lone pair of electrons. The molecular shape is bent. The electronic geometry is still trigonal planar. Now tetrahedral can't be drawn on the plane of the board because one bond comes out and the other one goes back. So we represent this with a wedge coming towards you and dotted lines coming back. So again, this is the tetrahedral and this is how we draw this on the paper. If one lone pair and three bonds are around the central atom, then we call this trigonal pyramid. Again, look at our model. One of these electron regions or densities is a lone pair. It looks like a pyramid. One is coming out towards you and one is going back away from you. So we got use dashes and wedges. And the line just means it's on the same plane. With two lone pairs and two bonding pairs, the electronic geometry is tetrahedral because there's four regions getting far away. And since only two of them are bonds, we call the molecular geometry bent. Notice that it's got this angle that's bent. Now if you have five electron densities, this is called the trigonal bipyramid, and notice that these three atoms are on the same plane. This one is also on the same plane, so they're all drawn with regular lines, but this bond is coming towards me, this bond is going away. Trigonal bipyramid. One of those is a lone pair, now we have a seesaw. <laughs> Two are lone pairs. The molecular shape is T-shaped. Three are lone pairs. The molecular shape is linear. Again, the electronic shape is one, two, three, four, five lone pair, five, five electron regions getting as far away as possible. So that's called a trigonal bipyramid. Electronic geometry, but the molecular geometry is linear. Now, if we have six electron regions getting as far away as possible, it forms this octahedral shape. If These two are on the same plane. You have two atoms coming towards you and two atoms going back. Octahedral. One of these regions is a lone pair. We have a square pyramid. These two coming towards you, those two going back. Two electron regions. Instead of showing two forward and two back, we go ahead and rotate it to show that these are all on the same plane. It's called square planar. So review, a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, or a lone pair of electrons is an electron region. So let's test and look at this molecule of carbon dioxide. How many electron regions are around this central atom of carbon? Well, there's a double bond and then another double bond. So there's one region, 
two regions. Because remember, a double bond is only one electron region. Each one of those two regions are going to try to get as far away as possible. So they'll form 180 degrees away from one another. Now let's look at ammonia. There are three single bonds and a lone pair of electrons. So there's one, two, three, four electron regions. Water, there's two lone pairs and two single bonds. So one, two, three, four electron regions that will try to get as far away as possible. So here's the water molecule. You can see that the electronic geometry is tetrahedral. There's one, two, three, four electron regions trying to get as far away as possible, but the molecular geometry is bent. The H's are not in a line, they are actually bent. So here's the hydrogen, oxygen, and then another hydrogen. The molecular geometry is bent.